In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the QR code landing page software. What this enables you to do is to create a QR code for your customers and a squeeze page or a landing page for them that the QR code will take them to. So now you don't have to have a separate QR code for every instance. You can use one QR code and then you can have a page that links off. Now let me show you what a finished product looks like here before we go any further. Okay, now this is a landing page that was actually created from the software. Now it was created to match the main site, which this particular piece of software allows you to do. You can match the colors of the site. So you see here that we have the logo. This is text that you can put in here. You can choose the logo or leave it out. Uh, it takes the name and from the input you put in here. So it automatically creates a click to call, a go to website, and a send an email. So you enter in the phone number, their website, and their email address. Now after that, you can have up to four custom links that you can put anything you want. So what I did was I used their Facebook page and I created a custom link to Facebook. Now, here's their main website. And you see I matched this pretty closely, not exactly. I actually could have changed the menu colors and matched them this way, but I made them black instead. Okay, so that's what you can do with this and that's what you end up with when you're done. Okay, so let's go back to the software and continue building here. Now you can, it'll make the QR code for you as well. So you can choose the size here. The dimensions are whatever you choose here and it's a square. So you just have to put one in. So defaults 150 can go up to 500 pixels. I'll leave it at 150. Let's click next. The landing page. This is where you're going to upload the landing page when you're done. So you put a URL in there. Okay, next the name of the contact. That's straightforward. The phone number for the contact. Where their website is. It's better if this is a mobile website because it'll show up in the phone, but you can link to their main website. And then it gives you a chance to do an upsell and create them a mobile website. Their email address. Put that in there for the contacts. Now, define up to four additional links. This is what I was telling you about. So you can pick zero if that's all you want. If you only want the click to call, the website, and the email links. If you want to put some more in, you can define up to four more. So let's do one. We'll put the Facebook mobile page in here. Click next. The text for that link so you saw that on the site here. That's where that's showing up. Any text or HTML you want in the footer. So you can put any text in here you like or leave it blank. It's optional. Any text you want above the menu here. So this is just underneath where the image would be if you select a custom image. You can also leave that blank if you want. Would you like to use a custom logo? So if you have one, like I used here, then you can use it. If you don't have one, you don't want to put one on, you can leave it out. Just click select no here and no logo. Next, we go and find the logo. Okay, the color of the text in the menu. So default is white. So that's this text. Okay, now we can choose different fonts here. So we have Verdana, Times New Roman, Impact, Arial, Courier, and Helvetica. Now, they may not work in all phone browsers. You stick to the basic ones like Verdana, Arial, and Times New Roman. Uh, the other ones may or may not work, but you can try them. So we'll go with Verdana. Choose the header background color. Okay, that is the color in behind the image here. So all I did was I took a color picker and I went to the, their main site and 
use that. So this is a color picker here, and you can get it at allgraphicstools.com, and you can download the HTML color picker. And then what you can do is go pick color, then go to their main website and grab the color. I'll just choose the color here. But that's what you do. Pick the color off the main website, and then that's what you put in here. Make sure the pound sign's on it. If you don't put the pound sign in the color code, it's not going to work. It's going to ignore it. So make sure that that's there. Okay, again, choose the font family for your header area. Okay, so that's up here. And recover the link text in the header. That's this stuff up here, this text and this text. Uh, I say link text because you can actually put a link in there if you want using HTML. Select the footer font family. Okay, so that's down here. Okay, down here. This is all I have in the footer right now. But this is the font family for the text here. And then the background color for the foot area, which I set to the same here. Color the text in the footer. Get the color of the border around the menu and between the bars. Okay, I set that to my background color so that these lines here match my background color. It's a good practice to do that. So you get some separation in there. Okay, the background color for the menu bars. So that's these actual bars. That's what we're putting in here. And now the font size and pixels for the menu text. Okay, so 18 pixels, and you can adjust that to the size you want, up or down. If you get a longer string of text, you may need to adjust it down. Okay, enter the word yes to continue, otherwise go back to make changes. Let's just generate where we're going to put it. I'll put it in test squeeze here. Okay, now what it does is it opens up the files here, and also we have a window here that says click here then right click on the image to save it. Okay, so it actually brings it up in the browser for you. Now you can save this to your computer somewhere, just save picture as, and save it. So all you would do is scan this to get to your site. Okay, now over to the files. All you have to up do now is upload these. Don't upload the one that's called QR code.html. What this lets you do is anytime you bring this up, it'll recreate the QR code for you in that size. There it is. Okay, so that's all that does. So don't upload that one, but upload these rest of them, images, index, and style. Okay, so let's go upload that. Okay, so this is a free FTP program called Composer. So you need to FTP your files up. So just select the three files, and then put them up on the server where you said you're going to put your QR landing page, and there it is. Now, when we bring that up in a phone emulator, let's reload one here. Okay, so this is where I told it I was uploading the squeeze page. So let's bring it up in a phone now. Okay, and there's what we just created from the inputs. Okay, so click the call. It won't really work in the emulator, but I tested it on my phone, it does work. Go to the website. Send an email. Okay, as you see, it's opening my real email here. But it would open the phone's email. It's just doing this because, of course, I'm running this on my computer. And Facebook goes to the mobile Facebook. Okay, so that's how you can use the QR landing page generator to create both a QR code for your customers and a landing page to match their website. Now, if you just take the defaults, it's going to create a black and white site with no image. So what would happen if you just took all the default, didn't put any custom colors or any image in here, you would have a white background around where this image is here. You wouldn't have the image, but you would have the text in black with the white background. And then this would be the same here. It would be black and white like you see it. And then down here, this would be white. Okay, so that's the only difference. Now you can do this so that you can 
pitch the single QR code to your customers and show them how you can put up a landing page for each of their employees if they want, because they can each have their own landing page. So this makes it a lot better for companies to be able to do it this way. Now I'm doing this one for a realtor and of course each realtor will have their own landing page where they'll have their own click to call and then they'll go to their main website. Now this could also go to a listings page on their main website. So you could just put the URL to their listings or to a special page for every contact. And then down here, of course, you can customize all the rest of these.